sensational arrest of Walter Gray as the mysterious wrecker whose attacks have nearly ruined a great railroad, Larry Baker believes that he has at last brought to justice the man who murdered his father. Gray has been arrested as a wrecker. If he is convicted, it'll prove that your father had nothing to do with any of these crimes. Yes, but Dad must still remain a fugitive in justice. Well, but not for long. The wrecker has the evidence that will prove that your father is innocent. And with his arrest, it's bound to turn up. But I know that Gray is not the wrecker. But, Dad, how can you be so sure of that? I can't tell you now, Gloria, but I, I know it. Well, one thing is certain, Dad, you've got to give the girl back to the railroad. What? And give up the only chance that I have of forcing them to clear me? Well, it's the best thing for you to do. Mr. Edwards' death has changed the situation entirely. And now we know that he wasn't holding back the information that he'd clear you. Larry is right, Dad. The theft of the gold is the one charge they can prove against you. Give it back to them. The record's the one we must get. All right. I'll do it. Oh, Dad. Well, I never did believe that you were responsible for wrecking the Hurricane Express. Report for duty. I ask you that you get your old run back. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hello? Yes? Stevens talking. Who? Stratton? You have the gold chipper that was stolen from the Hurricane Express? You'll find it in the old Forsyth mine. 35 paces from the entrance to the North Tunnel. Is that right? <laughs> you got a hand it to the wreckers. I'll bet the detectives are howling yet about the way we rescued Gray. <laughs> Fine chance you got to proving you ain't the wrecker now. So that's the wreckers game, huh? To fasten his guilt onto me. Sure. That's why he let you live. While the police are hunting you, the wrecker will be sitting free and easy, with nobody suspecting him. <laughs> He's smart, all right. Hello. Yeah, it's the boss. Yeah, sure, Chief. Right away. The wrecker says the gold is hidden in the abandoned mine shaft. The railroad detectives are on their way there now. We've got to beat them to it. of your message to Stevens and he's leading the railroad detectives to the goal. It won't be long now, Mr. Scott. We'll wait till the record's about to enter the mine, and then we'll bring our little surprise. The record's not with him. He's all with us after all. <laughs> You're not Stratton. Now. I thought you said you were going to wear Gray's mask. We nearly shot you by mistake. I had to change my plans at the last minute in order to fool Baker. Get busy, boys. The gold's over here. Clear that stuff away. Hustle now. The gold is under. Get it away from us this time. It's going to look good to me. Don't move. I've got you covered. Larry Fish. Okay, Larry, we've got him. He's himself. <laughs> yes, thanks to Stratton, I've got you. And I'll get the record, too. All right, Gus, let have it. Look out, Stratton. Step for your life. <laughs> I 
I'll take care of Baker. Larry Baker. The Rikers gang has him cornered. We gotta stop that machine gun first. Matthews, you showed up just in time to save it. Well, the sooner we get this stuff out of here, the better. I'll help you put it in your car. Emergency call. Get me, Crestview, 4211. Hello? The Wreckers gang are holding me a prisoner in a warehouse near the freight yards. Yes, Mr. Gray, I know where it is. I'll be right over. Hello? 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 is, Gloria, I'm afraid the wrecker is your father. Quick, hi, Gloria. It would have got the loot easy if those detectives hadn't showed up when they did. What are we going to tell the wrecker now? So, you failed. Never mind the excuses now. We have one more chance to get our hands on the gold. Stevens has ordered it shipped on the Hurricane Express tonight. I'll be on the engine myself and stop it at the siding near Ashbox. The two of you will be there with a car to take the gold away. Get going now and see that there's no slipping up this time. Come on, he won't get away. I tied the knot myself. Now you believe my father's not the wrecker. I never dreamed it was Jordan. Hurry, Gloria. We must go on the railroad. No. If we do that, they'll never get the wrecker. Mary Baker's the one we must warn. They should be here by this time, Larry. The Hurricane Express will be along in any minute. Yeah. Here they come now. Yeah. 
is going after that train. We've got to stop him before he gets the record. Of this, Jordan? Well, the wrecker struck me down, but Baker got it. And the wrecker is gray after all. No, he isn't. Walter Gray. Then the wrecker's wearing a mask. Bad shape. See if there's a doctor on the train, Bill. Help me get this mask off him, Henny. That's why your father returned the gold to the railroad. He set a trap for Stephen. So you got me, Matthew. <laughs> but you wouldn't have done it if Baker hadn't. Leave me alone. You can't do anything for me. I can't last very long. Stratton! Wait. Stratton's innocent. I framed him. I wanted to be general manager. So I started to get rid of Stratton. The directors gave Edwards the job, so I had to use other means. I closed all the wrecks in order to ruin the railroad so that I could buy it at my own price. I went to use the gold. It's 
advanced by steam. I'm sorry, Captain. I hope. I congratulate you, Stratton. When you're back as general manager of the railroad, I hope we can get together and merge our lines into a rail transport company, combining the best features of rural and air for our public service. And Larry, if you can forget the rotten world I've treated you, I'd like to have you back as chief pilot. Thank you, Mr. Boyle. Get back to your cab, Jordan. The Hurricane Express must go through on time. <laughs> 